that's right. That is a J. I itching. Are you itching? Are we playing outside today? Mm-hmm. Gray's going over his letters and we're doing some sidewalk chalk. Porter is exploring the garage. Anthony actually went into work, which is not the norm. He had to drop off some stuff. And so he's gone this morning, but today is a super bye exciting bye. day. I will pick this up in a second. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. You <laughs> went back. Are you so fast? Mm -hmm. Wow. Should we go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? Yes. Okay, let's go on a walk. You want to go on a walk? Yeah. Yeah, should we get the stroller? Okay, here we go. Wanna do the cul-de-sac? Okay, let's do the cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. Gray loves going down the cul-de-sac. <laughs> We're just going on a walk. Porter's in the stroller. It's hard to do this one-handed while I hold the camera. <laughs> go, Grayson! Go up the steps! We made it to the neighborhood park and no one is here. It's all to ourselves. Seems that lately, now that school's back in session during the weekday mornings, like no one is here. And that will soon be the case for Grayson. One week from today, he starts preschool. Oh, I'm so excited for him. He's just gonna do so well. I just know it. So we're here at the neighborhood park, just chilling. I got Porter in the stroller. I probably just walk him around while Porter, er, well, Grayson plays, so let me try and film and push. Okay, Porter decided he wanted out, so he's gonna explore or be grumpy. You're okay. Here's Grayson. I just realized how many leaves are on the ground. Fall is coming fast. It's not usually like this, but there are so many trees in this park. I bet you it gets really pretty here in the fall. Anyway, like I was saying, today is an exciting day because today is um, adult or parent orientation for Grayson's preschool. Now, usually they do it in person, but because um, coronavirus is getting worse right now, they changed it to just a virtual thing. So tonight at 7, Anthony and I have to get on this Zoom link and we're going to Zoom with all the other parents and... I don't really know what they're gonna tell us. I'm assuming just like things to know, how to communicate with your son's or child's teacher, events coming up, different things like that, I'm guessing, but I'm really excited. Porter fell. Which one do you wanna go down now? One, two, or three? Two. Two, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Are you gonna go? That's one. <laughs> Porter fell, so he got a little sad. Don't go down three, because three is yucky. So yeah, I'm really excited, like starting to kick off the preschool stuff. And then um, on Thursday, today's Tuesday, on Thursday, Gray and I are gonna go to his classroom, see his classroom, meet his teachers, see where he's gonna be sitting. I think I'm gonna do a teacher gift just because I love school so much. Like I'm so excited. I think I'm more excited than he is. Like I always enjoyed going to school as a kid. I loved back to school. Also, my sister is a teacher, and so I know like how much like she puts into the school. And so I just want to spoil his teachers. So um, I follow somebody on Instagram and and YouTube, but mostly Instagram. And she posted like a little like teacher gift. And so I think I'm gonna do that. I screenshotted it, so I'll, I'll input that here. My plan is to go to Target during nap time today while the boys sleep and get the stuff. It's just like some paper clips some pens, um, a candy, and some like hand sanitizer. So really not that much. And then put a little label on it. She got hers from Etsy. I'm gonna see if I can like make one myself or find like a template for free online just cause I'm cheap. 
But yeah, so I think I'm gonna do that and then we'll bring that and give it to his teachers on Thursday. My parents are now living in town. My brother's off to college and so they're up de nesters. So now they are living here in Columbus. So they only live five minutes away from us, which is awesome. So my parents are gonna come tonight and they are going to babysit the kids while we do the parent orientation because if we didn't have them, then only I would be able to do it because seven o'clock is right at bedtime. And so yeah, we wouldn't be able to both sit down and watch it even though it is virtual. So my parents are gonna come and we're actually gonna make a date out of it. We're gonna go on a date and get dinner and then do this uh, Zoom. So I'll, I'll keep you updated on the teacher gift and then I will keep you updated on how tonight goes. But for now, we are rocking on the teeter totter. Porter is playing over there, doing his bear crawl. Sorry, the camera's shaky. <laughs> For parent orientation for the preschool. Trains logging again. Yeah, we got our notepad to take notes, courtesy of Bath and Body Works. Got our i or our I just gotta call it iPad. Our little laptop all set up, and we're ready to go. What does it say? Read it. It says, Dear Grayson. Dear Grayson. What does it say? Mm -hmm. Welcome. To the, to the class. Mm -hmm. What's next? You can't wait to meet on your Thursday, September 2. Second. Bye. Our <laughs> open house for 1911 and see you there, Mrs. Ba Mrs. Baker. Yay, great day! Yeah. So Grayson's teachers sent him this little uh, card in the mail saying that they can't wait to see him at the open house that we go to tomorrow. And he can read basically the whole thing himself. It's really impressive. Like he can read. Ooh. He can read, Porter. Good job, Gray. What's that? What does it say? What does it say? Welcome. Welcome. Good job. Good job. Good morning. So I realized that I never talked about how um, the adult parent orientation was. So I just wanted to tell you guys real quick. Um, it's the next day. But it was a fast meeting. It was a little over a half hour. Um, and it was just a slideshow presentation just telling us about the different activities the kids are going to do throughout the year. And then just different expectations like drop off and pick up. A little bit about the preschool, which we kind of already knew about. And how we we're going to communicate. So they have like this app called ProCare. And you can communicate with teachers on there. See events on there, um, check your kid in and out of school on there. So it's like all through this app. So it was informative, but I was so bummed because I was like, yes, it's adult uh, parent orientation, whatever. They're going to ask, allow people to ask questions. And I can't wait to hear all the dumb questions that people ask because I'm finally at that point now where I go to like these parent orientations. And so all the parents are going to be there. And there's always a couple that ask like the dumbest questions ever that you look at that person like, are you serious? And so I was waiting for somebody to ask something dumb like, like, what happens when my kid is sad at preschool or like something silly like that. But I was so bummed because at the beginning of the meeting, the principal who hosted this meeting uh, announced to everyone that there would not, they would not be taking questions and if anybody had questions, they could email her uh, individually and she would answer their questions. And I was like, what? I get it. There was over a hundred people in this meeting and so if she would have taken questions, it would have went on for probably another hour and I'm sure she had things to do and other people had things to do. So I get why that didn't happen, but I was so bummed because I just wanted to see what everyone was going to say. <laughs> I just wanted the entertainment. So unfortunately, no entertainment for me, but um, 
tomorrow we are going to go and um, see Grayson's teachers at his classroom. I'm gonna give them the parent or the teacher gift and um, hopefully Grayson likes his classroom because he's gonna be there for a year. So we'll see how it goes.